Hi everybody, I'm back with another demo of ATAC and some radios. This time I'm going to be demonstrating ATAC running over ARDEN, which stands for Amateur Radio Emergency Data Network. I think, I hope, kind of embarrassing if I screw that up. Um, so, uh, let's just go over the setup real quick. Actually, before I do that, disclaimer. To do this, you have to be an amateur radio operator. You have to have your technician license. Um, and that is because Arden is set up really for amateur radio use. And I believe it possibly breaks some of the, the normal rules of using regular Wi-Fi equipment. So that's why uh, you have to have your license to do it. So here's the gear setup. We've got a Rocket M2 made by Ubiquiti. Um, there's a, a, actually quite a, a lot of different um, pieces of radio equipment that works with Arden, uh, but these are the ones that I have that I'll be demonstrating. We've got a bow thing next to it, uh, so you can kind of see a size comparison. It's a little bit bigger, not a whole lot, um, about the same length. This actually, the Rocket feels lighter than the bow thing. So we got that. It's wired to the power of your Ethernet injector. Um, since I'm you know, doing this at the house here. Um, it's not a battery pack, but you can get uh, basically a battery powered version of that thing. Uh, and then that goes here. This is a GLI dot, or what is it? GL dot INET. Yeah, GL dot INET. Let me focus that. It's an AR150 and it's a little tiny Wi Fi router. Um, you set that up in bridge mode. So you have to do that so that it bridges the Wi-Fi from the phone right over to that thing. Um, so this generates just a couple of IPs by default. I think it uh, normally starts out with just five. You can configure it though. Um, and uh, that basically just converts it into Wi-Fi and then ATAC uh, thinks that it's going on a Wi-Fi network. But really uh, what it's doing is it's going out to that thing uh, and then over the air to that. Now what's cool about Arden is Say that one and that one are on other sides of a mountain. You can take your third one here, put it up in the middle. If these form a chain, they will automatically forward stuff between them. So you don't have to screw around with it at all, and it will automatically form a mesh network for you. Um, so it's pretty cool. Um, you don't need these things if you are setting up just that as a repeater, you just need that and a power over ethernet thing to power it up and you're all set. Uh, so onto the demonstration. So let me try and get this in focus again, sorry. There we go. Okay, um, so these things are really fast. They basically run at Wi-Fi speeds. So let's see, oh, there we go. Okay, so there we go. There we go. You can see how quickly these things show up. It's uh, pretty cool. So we'll just add in a point just as a demo. We'll put that there. And then we'll send broadcast. Pretty much instantaneous. Um, one thing that I found kind of strange um, was that the whole chat room doesn't work. So. If I send a message here, it doesn't do anything. Uh, but if I go to that one and send it, that works out fine. So, not really sure why that is, um, but that's just something to kind of be aware of. All right, and then the uh, so basically all the all the stuff that you can do with ATAC will work over these radios. Um, with the exception, I've not quite figured out the video streaming yet with uh, TAC ICU. Um, but these things are fast enough that you can do pictures and images. So I, let's go back here. I set this up a little bit earlier, attaching the image. There we go. So we got a picture here. So a, uh, an antenna analyzer, that's actually the antenna that's on the, uh, uh, the Arden radio. So we'll send that, and we'll include the attachment, and we'll send it to you there. And let's do the original size, we'll see how long that takes. So 
where I have my phone set up to make an extra amount of noise, way more than necessary, but it's good for testing stuff. So, there we go. So we got the full resolution version of this. It was, I forgot the size. Um, I'll probably put it in the video comments. But uh, anyway, there's the demo. So um, there is a small special configuration you have to do for this. Uh, and it is a little bit tedious. It will be very tedious if you have a lot of these things going. Um, to make this work, what you have to set up is you have to go to your settings you have to go to show all preferences network settings network connection preferences and then you have to go to manage outputs and you have to make an output for let me see if i can focus this for your devices uh, for each basically each device that you're going to have running so this is the LG phone here. That is the IP address that Arden assigned to this. So if I go to settings, we'll kind of go to the same spot. So there we go, 1033, 110, 154, and it matches up. So um, that will be kind of annoying if you have to go through and, and do a whole bunch of these things. Um, there we go, see, so that matches up with that one. Uh, it's only that one thing that you have to do though. Um, it's just the one entry. And the port would be 4242 UDP. And that's what allows it to work because Arden by default black, uh, blocks multicast and broadcast messages. Uh, so that basically uh, sends anything directly to uh, the IP address which allows it to go over the network because it is no longer a broadcast, multicast. Um, so anyway, there we go. This is another possible way to use ATAC off-grid wirelessly.